Welcome back to Lavender Coco Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a super healthy and super easy recipe, which is a watermelon and strawberry sorbet. And if the weather is hot like it is today, because over here we're getting towards summer, then this is the perfect treat to cool off on a hot day. And it's also a wonderful treat for children too, especially if they're at home in school holidays and they want something to eat. This is delicious and of course it's really healthy. And watermelon and strawberries are both really low in sugar, they're low in calories, but they're very high in vitamins like vitamin C. So they're a great healthy choice. And even if you have diabetes like I do, they're also fine to eat. I have frozen watermelon, which is just roughly chopped, about a cup of watermelon. In this recipe, you don't have to be very precise about the measurements, but kind of use what you have. And once you, if you buy like a lot of fresh fruit, if it's in season, you can just chop it, keep it in the freezer. And then whenever you want to use it, you just spring it out. And it keeps really well in the freezer too. So we're just going to put that in the blender. And there's half a cup of chopped frozen strawberries there. Okay, so just to add a little bit more zing to it. We've got some lemon. Mm, just grate a bit of the zest because that has a nice flavour. And just lift it a bit. And so we need about roughly two tablespoons lemon juice so it's about one small lemon depending how juicy they are so now we'll just put in a little water about a tablespoon just to help it blend you may need to add a little more depending on your blender and if you like, you can add about a tablespoon of coconut cream. Just gives it a little more creaminess. But of course, you don't have to add this. You could just add a bit more water or a bit of almond milk. So, but I like a bit of coconut cream. Okay, so all you do now is blend it. Okay, so there we have it. Instant watermelon and strawberry sorbet, which this of course is best eaten immediately. And you can serve it in cones, in bowls, or however you like. But if you want to freeze it, you could freeze it in ice block molds or in ice cubes. And it would actually make a really healthy ice block for children in the summer. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.